welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video with Blazing Corp. We are going to be testing out Mother Cybel in the Dragon's Lair just to see if she is viable for you, for all of us mid game guys you don't have like crazy op champions uh, see if she makes any sense going into that particular level uh, here and uh, completing some content we're going to try that out next all right so we are here for uh, and stage 20, uh, we've got Mother Saibo as the lead because she brings in a very impressive aura skill, which is increases all ally speed in all battles by 24%. That's one of the best uh, ally speed units uh, or auras in the game right here. So definitely use her as your lead. Now, when you have her as a lead, you got to make sure that she's tanky. So uh, let's take a look and see what we have as the stats in this particular team. Uh, this is a yeah, four person free to play team uh, with bad L Kazar. Because, uh, yeah, frankly, he's just amazing. All right, let's uh, let's go. All right, so we got Mother Saibo first up here. Uh, she is in two broken sets with speed. Oh, uh, you know, we built her pretty well uh, here. So 52,000 hit points, 1,700 attack. We got almost 4,000 defense. So, you know, definitely want to build her tanky in these two areas. 221 speed because we want her to roll around her abilities. We've got no books on her, so that's super important. Uh, mid game, you know, it's hard to get uh, legendary books. So we have to run her... Um, you know, without her skills flowing back into each other pretty quickly uh, there. I think she works better if you have all the books in her. But um, if you don't, you know, as I don't, then we've got to see if she can still run content uh, here. So uh, low crit rate and crit damage, but 349 resistance. So she's not going to be stopped by anybody. So that's super important there. Now, I do wish that we had her accuracy up into the 200s because then we could use her A1 skill, which is the decrease speed debuff uh, for two turns. And that would have, what, a 50% chance of being hit on all enemies. Uh, but, hey, in regard, in, you know, since we can't do that, we'll just take the turn meter fill. So she's constantly going to be filling a turn meter. She's got a revive on death and an increased speed debuff for two turns, which is nice. Would be every three turns, but uh, we got no books to book, in, book into her. And then uh, this crazy one where she could have put increased speed on somebody and uh, then a block damage on whoever has the lesser health uh, here. And then continuous heal buff on her always. So that would be nice if that was three turns too, because that could heal. She'd probably be one of the better healers uh, here. Single target here, so. All right, so. Uh, you know, we're building out her masteries. Uh, we could go and get her some masteries right now. So what would I do? Which area would we go down? I'd probably go down the attack part just to get her war master uh, here. Yeah, there's no real need to go down accuracy. She's not putting out like shields. Uh, she's doing very little heal. She's got the one move that does the heal. But she could go down defense just to mitigate, you know, damage uh, here as well. So I'd say defense and an attack would be the way to go. But yeah, this sh shouldn't be hard for even mid gamers to do like at the masteries. Uh, here you just run Minotaur uh, here. All right, but well, we're going to run her with no masteries uh, just so you guys can see if she makes sense to run. All right, so um, we got Bad El Gazar. You know how this guy's run if you watch any of my videos. Uh, he's built, uh, you know, very, very solid here. So attack, sorry, perception and speed. We've got uh, pretty good stats. So good health, good attack, good defense uh, here. 
We got uh, 234 speed, which is nice. Uh, some crit rate and crit damage. You know, not a lot, but enough to get heals uh, here. Then we got 233 resistance and accuracy. You know, could could build that up a little bit. You know, can't uh, can't lie on that end. We could definitely build that up. We shall see if we get the gear. All right, we've got uh, Ninja next. Uh, he's going to be part of our control mechanism. So he's going to have that uh, A3 skill uh, here, the Science Slash. That's going to put Freeze on everybody. And then um, we'll have Astralon uh, in there as well with stuns. All right, so what I really wish here was that he had more health uh, here. Um, and I'll find a piece that we can get some more health on him eventually. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, you know, 4,400 attack. I might even bring down the attack to get this to 4, 40,000 or 45,000. That might be the way to go uh, here. Uh, we've got uh, 2,200 attack almost, uh, 211 speed, good crit rate, crit damage. And then we've got uh, 306 accuracy. Yeah, I could definitely change this out, um, but I'd have to be comparable in the stats here. You know, these aren't bad stats at all, so I might not change that one out. I might just be getting the sub stats with some more health uh, here instead of attack. Yeah, that's probably what it will end up being uh, here. Yeah, if we can get some of these attack rolls or even a resistance, one of the resistance rolls right here. But we've got a pretty decent gear on him, so it's going to be pretty hard to find, you know, one that we just change out. Like a resistance stat for a, a health percentage stat. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see if we can find something. All right, so... Uh, next up, we've got uh, Underpriest Bragni. Yeah, I think he's in this team. Well, I know Astron's in this team, so let's take a look at him. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's... Uh, I think we'll, we'll take a look at that. So we got him in a Savage set because, yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty savage uh, here. And a decent amount of health, attack... Uh, here, but yeah, we, we should definitely get some more health. I think I want to start building my attack champions 40,000 minimum health uh, here. Then all the other stats kind of lay out as is, but yeah, better to keep them alive. And the hell are we dead? That's for sure. All right, so uh, 196 speed. We've got a good crit rate, crit damage. I mean, we could have more crit damage, but uh, we'd sacrifice probably a little bit of our crit rate to do that. Uh, we've got 137 resistance and a 208 accuracy. All right, so yeah, all his books are done. His masteries are done. Uh, here, we went down to Helm Smasher to get that uh, extra 25%. Ignore damage uh, here so yeah is what it is all right so yeah pretty sure under priest Brogny's last he's amazing you know stun stun set so we are gonna get some stuns out all his masteries are done he's gone down the giant slayer for reflect damage and uh, he's definitely got room to grow so yeah we'll see him get a re-kit once we get enough gear we run enough of the fire knight so I do like him in a sunset. But yeah, you can put him in a frozen set, like any set that's gonna have some measure of control. All right, you could even put him in a um, poison set uh, here and have him reflect damage and put poisons out, which would be pretty awesome. Cause that's like a 75% chance of poison uh, here. So that that's something that you could go for. Let's, uh, let's actually see that uh, here. Where it is toxic? I uh, hear, yeah, 75% chance to place 2.5. So yeah, he would do a bunch more damage uh, here if he had that. Uh, if he had that on, I actually might look into that. Tell you the truth. Yeah, we'll look into putting that onto him 
and see how he runs uh, without a stun set all right here but it's what it is i like the control so you can't can't go wrong all right so we've got our team set together let's see how let's see how this goes uh here should be should be interesting because i do like how should they are set up here for sure it's time to do, 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 do. all right so yeah basically this team is control like um and dragon it's all about control man like get your control out so free stuns um have your reflect damage up and then uh, with mother Saibo and the team just have them cycling fast uh, here so she's gonna add that uh you know extra 24 percent speed to the base stat uh, here and then um yeah and then she'll just have them rolling uh, here so having that extra you know 24 you know between 20 and 24 speed is definitely nice uh, here for sure as uh yeah you can never go wrong having your champions faster yeah so you can see how this is going pretty quick uh, here because uh, yeah those guys are basically not getting a turn and we're able to roll our abilities around pretty quickly uh, here through uh, the stuns and whatnot it also helps us on the boss because then we're going to get back to um, hellburn a lot quicker uh, here so you can see um, yeah that it this ending is all about ninja here it's all about ninja here at the end yeah so getting his uh, hail burn skill rolled back around as quickly as possible is the key because yeah he's gonna do that and uh, just mash up the boss right here yeah pretty easy round uh, here and i would say mother cyborg could come into this especially if you had the books to book her out um she would be putting out the uh, block damage as well as the increased speed for for one person every three turns and then with her being really fast you know she could roll that around really really quick uh, here so definitely um yeah definitely give her a run there's no harm in building out a free to play legendary um she definitely works well as you've seen in some of my other videos in the celestial griffin um, she would work even better if she's mastered out and then she'd work uh, even better if she had her skills booked here so my overall score on her is definitely a Aww. so yeah definitely yeah give her a wow give her a cha-ching and uh yeah she's ready to go yeah you could definitely add her into your team especially just for the speed lead to bring your your speed up for your champions all right there guys have a fantastic day hey no ninja watchers no ninja watchers no ninja watchers we're gonna see you again next time hit that like and subscribe button uh, here help me get this these videos monetized we're putting out a lot of free and good content for you guys here um, so just hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Let's uh, let's go far and wide together. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you again next time. Let's chat then.